midfielder Yusuf Fofana to replace Case Moreau this summer. It is said that Eric Ten Hag, the boss of Manchester United, has asked the club to replace Case Moreau with Yusuf Fofana. A midfielder from Monaco, Man United, consider France star as possible Case Miro transfer replacement. In hint at new sporting director's identity, the Sun the Red Devils are expected to sign a big-name defensive midfielder this summer. And at the same time, a big player could leave at the end of the season. When his loan deal ends, Sofian Amrabat is likely to leave. Case Moreau could follow him out the door if the club wants to cut costs on wages last few weeks. The club was linked with Amadou Onana and Joao Neves. But Fischages says that Ten Hag has asked for Fofana to replace Case Moreau. United isn't the only team after the French player. Other teams interested in the 25-year-old player are Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain. He could be bought for 30 million euros to get away, man. UTD, ready to make transfer offer for 26 million pound France midfielder as Amrabat and Case Miro continue to struggle. The Sun Man United needs to set bigger goals than Fofana. Fofana has become a good holding midfielder at Monaco this season. He has won 4.7 duels and made 1.7 stops per league game. The Frenchman has won 58% of his take-ons, which is an amazing average of 7.4 recoveries. Fabrizio Romano on X, Excal. Inter approached AS Monaco in the morning to ask for loan deal with by clause for French midfielder Yusuf Fofana Manchester United. Also asked for the same conditions AS Monaco rejected both approaches as they, while there are some good things about him. He has had trouble passing and is only 81% accurate. The man from Strasbourg has been kicked out an amazing 15.1 times per trip. We don't think he's better than Case Moreau because of how he distributes the ball and how well he controls it. But we don't see him as a usual starter. He might be a good team player, Arsenal target. £30 million rated League One star as they consider potential backup plan if Declan Rice deal collapses. Neves from Benfica should be United's first choice if they want to get a star number six. Even though he's only 19, he doesn't have any real flaws and could fetch a nine-figure fee this summer, Manchester United. Looking to sign, Joao Neves plus more transfer rumours. The 19-year-old is one of Europe's hottest prospects and it is thought United are preparing a mammoth bid. For the teenager Benfica star Joao Neves is said to be high up on Man United's transfer wishlist this summer. Manchester United are reportedly readying a bid in the region of £100 million for Benfica starlet Joao. Neves, the 19-year-old, has continued to impress for the Portuguese side this season having already played 42 times in all competitions. The midfielder has been likened to former PSG orchestrator Marco Verratti given his never-ending engine and killer eye for a pass in the middle of the park with Kabi Menu and Case Miro seemingly Eric Ten Hag's go-to pairing as of late. Questions remain over the futures of both Christian Eriksen and Scott McTominay, especially given Ineo's incoming investment that is expected to see plenty of incomings and outgoings later this year. According to The Mirror, Neves is likely to attract high-profile attention from some of Europe's biggest sides this summer, with his name the next from Benfica's impressive production line of Portuguese talents over the last few years elsewhere. Reports from Football Fancast state how United are also likely to delve into the market to improve their squad at left back. Both Luke Shaw and Tyrell Malaysia have spent large parts of the season on the sidelines and Girona star Miguel Gutierrez is one player continuing to catch the Red Devil's eye. The 22-year-old defender has been a standout performer for the Spanish outfit so far this term featuring 32 times in all competitions, chipping in with an impressive six assists during their 
Stunning campaign and subsequent quest for UEFA Champions League qualification now takes shape. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is set to be denied with his first act in the transfer market, though reports claim Manchester United will now go full steam ahead to sign an Everton ace. A huge summer is expected at Old Trafford as new co-owner Sir Jim Ratcliffe looks to make an instant impact. Failure to qualify for next season's Champions League would dent Man UTD's spending power, though the sales and free agent exits of various high-profile stars would more than compensate Johnny Evans. Raphael Verne and Anthony Marshall are all out of contract in the summer. Elsewhere, Man United will listen to permanent offers for the likes of Donny van de Beek, Case Moreau, Jaden Sancho, Mason Greenwood and Anthony Dot a new centre-back, a young left-back, a central midfielder and striker are all wanted. If buyers are found for some or all of Sancho, Anthony and Greenwood, an addition on the wings will also be required. Today's update regards the centre-back position and once Ratcliffe and Ineos took charge at Old Trafford, speculation their first signing could come from Nice went into overdrive. Both United and Nice now share the same ownership and a move for highly rated centre-half, Jean-Claire Tadibo, was touted. The 24-year-old has been in fantastic form in League One this season and earned his first two caps for France at the back end of 2023. Ratcliffe's influence, given he's part of the ownership at both clubs, had been listed as a factor that would help to facilitate Tadibo's transfer to United. However, 90 Minutes recently reported Nice are unwilling to offer United a discounted price for their star defender. The alleged price tag of around £50 million was also causing consternation at Old Trafford. Now, a fresh update from Football Insider has taken it a step further. They state Nice are determined not to lose to Debo for any price. Furthermore, it's claimed senior figures at Nice are prepared to block a deal. With Nice playing hardball and United unconvinced by the cost of the transfer anyway, attention has now switched closer to home. If I acknowledge Tadibo was actually a backup option for Man United in the centre back position. Their primary target is Everton's Jared Branthwaite, and that's a claim the Mirror also made last week. Man United to make modest opening bid. They stated Ratcliffe is the driving force behind United's impending pursuit of the 21-year-old, who recently earned his first call-up to the senior England side. Ratcliffe is prioritising the signings of younger stars who are either British or at the very least have Premier League experience. Branthwaite obviously fits that billing, as does fellow confirmed. Target Michael Aulis. Everton's delicate financial positions means a summer sale will reluctantly be explored. Even if they stave off relegation, Everton understandably value the player highly and would hope to generate upwards of £70 million for Branthwaite. However, United intend to test the waters with an opening gambit worth roughly £50 million. If rejected, they'll weigh up their options before potentially raising the stakes. Interestingly, a move for Branthwaite would mean United's two frontline starters at centre-back, Lisandro Martinez included, would both be left-footed. Man United ready to pay £38.5 million and high salary to finally sign player at Manchester United. We're keen on signing Lenny Euro in the winter transfer window and Lille were asking for a mammoth fee of 70 million euros. For their prized asset. It must be remembered that the young French centre-back will be out of contract next year, so, in the summer, he would be available for cheap. According to Spanish source, Nacional, even Real Madrid want to lure Euro and would like to pay around 35 million euros to get the signing done. However, the dilemma for the Los Blancos is that Man United are ready to pay a higher fee and even offer the player lucrative terms to hire him. 
the Catalan media outlet claim Man United are willing to pay a fee of 38.5 million pounds, 45 million euros, and a high salary to convince Euro to move to Old Trafford. United cannot compete with Real Madrid in offering the player a better sports project, so they want to offer more money to win the race. Lenny Euro is 18 and already he is proving to be a hit in the League One. This season, so far, the youngster has started 24 games.